New research is suggesting some viral infections might be linked to Alzheimer's. The theory has been controversial for years, but a new study is offering compelling evidence. Elijah Westbrook has more. Alzheimer's, a disease that kills roughly 83,000 people a year, is now being linked to two strains of the herpes virus. It's a very large, well-done study by very reputable people. Dr. David Gill at Rochester Regional Health's Memory Center at Unity says a new study shows those viruses interact with genes connected to Alzheimer's and may play a role in how it develops and even progresses. They looked at a large number of brains of people who passed away with Alzheimer's disease, looked at the areas of the brains that were affected or known to be affected by Alzheimer's disease, and they found that these genes involved in Alzheimer's disease also involved in trying to fight off viral infections. Researchers discovered the brains of those with Alzheimer's had levels of herpes that were twice as high as in people who didn't have the disease. But doctors are cautioning people that they shouldn't be alarmed by this discovery. Research shows nearly 90% of adults have been exposed to the herpes virus by the age of 90. That means not all people will go on to develop Alzheimer's. It doesn't look like they're the cause of Alzheimer's disease. So it doesn't look like that they're the one that starts it and it's the whole cause of it, but they may play a role. Ultimately, this new study is changing the way researchers and doctors are treating patients with this disease. In Rochester, Eliza Westbrook, News 8. Elijah, thanks. This study also found bacteria, parasites, and other microbes might trigger the disease as well. So a lot of research still needs to be done there.